Welcome soil conservation and management students at the Royal University of Agriculture in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. This is Jared Williams with Brigham Young University, Idaho, and I am preparing a lecture here on application of GIS and GNS in agriculture. This is part of our session number 15 lecture, and this is video lecture number three, focusing on nutrient management and variable rate technology. In previous lectures, we defined how GIS and GINSS in agriculture and, and some general uh, applications of it. Now we're talking more detail about those applications and how they might be used to improve our soil management and reduce soil degradation. In this video lecture, we're going to focus on nutrient management and variable rate technologies. We are also going to uh, build on some concepts that we learned in zoning and grid soil sampling as nutrient management and variable rate technology is based off of zone and grid soil sampling among other things. In fact we talked about this uh, slide or this picture as part of our soil sampling and how our soil sampling would allow us to create maps showing the variability of different soil properties across the field. In nutrient management, we take the grid soil sampling that is performed or the zones and the, and the nutrients that or uh, acidity, pH of those locations, and we develop what we call prescription applications. Think of that similar to uh, prescription drugs, right? When you go to the doctor, the doctor prescribes medication for you in order for you to get better. Well, this is similar. A crop consultant will use the grid soil samples to create a prescription for your field that will give the amount of fertilizer to be applied in the different locations of your field. Variable rate application is when we go into the field and we apply that fertilizer, lime, or other chemicals according to that recommendation or that prescription map meaning as the implement moves to the field, it will actually apply more or less lime or fertilizer based on the map. When we complete our application, we will produce another map, which is what we call our as applied. It records how much fertilizer, chemical, or lime was actually applied and in what location. One of a, an excellent example of a variable rate application is lime and fertilizer recommendations. In fact, liming is very popular. We talked about some of this in session in video lecture number two when we described how if we don't if we if we don't apply the right amount of lime in the right location, some areas of the field may receive too much lime and other areas inadequate amounts of lime. For example, we create, in order to use variable rate, we first go to the field and we soil sample. So I'll place some dots here where we, we grid soil sample. Based off that grid soil sample, we can produce a map. And this is a pH, a pH map, for example. Based on the pH map, we will then come up with a lime recommendation. and prescription map. We then take that prescription map and we load that map into the tractor's computer. Then as the tractor drives through the field it will change the rate of the amount of lime being applied as it crosses from one zone to the next. For example maybe the yellow zones need uh, three tons of lime, but the green areas need zero tons, and the orange areas maybe they need five tons. So as the tractor drives through, the computer in the tractor reads the map, uses the GPS location or GNSS location of the tractor to then change the rate of lime being applied as the tractor moves through the field. 
This allows for the correct amount of lime or fertilizer to be applied in the correct location, therefore reducing over or under application. The benefits of this kind of system are many. Variable rate technology can greatly reduce the, the amount of soil degradation that will occur and improve our soil management. For example, let me change my marker or highlighter color. It can reduce soil erosion because it will promote crop growth and soil cover. So when we apply the right amount of lime and the right amount of fertilizer to the right location, this will promote plant growth or crop growth, resulting in more plant material to help hold the soil together and more cover that will allow for uh, more protection of the soil from raindrops, thereby reducing soil erosion. Second, it will reduce over application of fertilizer which can result in non-point pollution as well as leaching of soil nutrients and because some fertilizers over time will acidify we can also reduce the potential of acidification from fertilizers again simply by applying the correct amount of fertilizer or lime to the right location we can also improve soil pH when we apply liming. When we do that, we reduce the effect of alkalinization. Oftentimes, if we apply lime at a, at a average rate for the field, this means that some areas of the field will receive too little lime and remain acidic, and other areas of the field will become alkaline. Both situations result in less crop growth less utilization of nutrients which may cause problems with soil erosion and soil and nitrate and nutrient leaching as well as non-point pollution. The final point is it, uh, variable rate technology again applying the right amount of fertilizer to the right place reduces under and over application of irrigation water let me back that up. Another benefit of variable rate technology is we can also use variable rate technology with irrigation, where we irrigate the right amount of water. This system allows, um, allows us, or allows the irrigation system to change the rate of water being applied to the soil. The benefit of this is that we apply the correct amount of irrigation water to the correct location in the field. For example, if I have some sand and I have some clay areas in the field, the sand areas need more water than the clay areas. So I'm, if I apply more water to the sand areas, that will result in better crop growth. But early in the growing season, we may want to not apply less water, but more frequently in the sand area than the clay area. In other words, by applying the right amount of irrigation water at the right time and in the right place, we will definitely reduce soil erosion and by applying the right amount of irrigation water, we can hopefully also reduce the potential of soil alkalinization. Again, variable rate technology is the ability to vary the rate of inputs, whether that's pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, fertilizers, lime or other soil amendments and irrigation water. The idea is we apply the, the amount of water needed in that location and that soils and fields are variable. They change with as you, as you change the location. By ma matching the need of the soil with appropriate amounts of crop inputs, we can, re we can reduce soil degradation, improve our soil management, and the soil health. This concludes our video lecture number three on variable rate technology and nutrient management.